Good day, KSA. Coach Dre from The Fittest Show. Here with another Fittest segment only on SRFM, the heart of KSA. Today, we're talking about general training during Ramadan uh, with 10 tips on keeping fit during this time. Stay tuned. Focus on the details. Ramadan is the ideal time to work on your weak points. Focus on mobility, posture, and improving exercise technique. Revise your training program. Check if you are doing something wrong. Keep yourself on track and focus on strength exercises to maintain your muscle mass. Trying to increase it during the fasting is nearly impossible. So don't push yourself during training at this point, whereas it will become useless. Stay focused. Excessive cardio is also not advised. So here we're going to focus on, on technique and adding a bit more of mobility and flexibility into your routine. Stay tuned to find out how to do that. Take advantage of this time for a nutritional reboot. Introducing new sources of food into your diet during this time could be quite a good idea. This time can actually be massively beneficial to the nutritional aspects of your life. If you can't eat anything during the day, then you're three quarters of the way to getting or quitting negative foods. Consuming poor quality foods in the evenings and early morning is simply keeping your addictive personality or your addictive traits going. So try to eliminate sugar, junk food, caffeine, fried foods, soft drinks during this time. It's a great period to change your bad habits. Plan your meals ahead of time. When we are hungry and look to breaking our fast, we need to be careful. If it comes to iftar, a greasy plate of food in front of us will be an easy option than cooking. So plan your meals and avoid and avoid slipping up with low value foods and stay on track with your targets. So plan your meals, prepare your meals and be ready to get the gains that you need. Another important thing to do here is to understand how fasting affects your body. Fasting radically alters the diet. Meals are limited to morning and evening, causing the body's metabolism to slow. Some may experience discomfort during the day. However, good health can be maintained by consuming adequate nutrients during our meals. Some studies show that people who fast on a regular basis lower their risk of contracting coronary diseases. Other studies show metabolic reactions, reactional changes and lower bad cholesterol levels and decrease blood sugar levels. So let's use this time to fix some of those issues. Plan to work out at the right time of the day. The best time recommended for most is maybe an hour or two after breaking fast, when your body has received nutrients to support your system. Some people believe training in the afternoon is a good idea, so that there is more oxygen that can be available for your muscles, rather than being required for digestion. However, workouts and training are more beneficial when your body is properly fueled, whereas results will be diminishing when you are training and on an empty stomach. So let's kind of think about that when we plan our training for this period. Don't miss a single session by tuning in every Sunday and Thursday, 9 to 10 p.m. only on the fittest radio station in the kingdom, SRFM, the heart of KSA. KSA.